Why is it that people care so much about the environment? Ethics are a branch of philosophy that involves the study of good and bad, of right and wrong. It can also be defined as a person or society's moral values. Environmental ethics is the application of ethical standards to relationships between humans and non-human entities. Ethics are influenced by a person's worldview and culture. Worldview being a person's perception of the world and his or her place within it, and culture being the ensemble of knowledge, beliefs, values, and learned ways of life shared by a group of people. Ethics, however, differentiate from person to person. Relativists believe that ethics do and should vary with social context, and universalists maintain that their objective notions of right and wrong exist. Ethical standards are the criteria that help differentiate right from wrong. One classical ethical standard is virtue, which was held by Aristotle, which involves the personal achievement of moral excellence in character through reason and moderation. Another ethical standard is the categorical imperative proposed by Immanuel Kant, which is to treat others as you would prefer to be treated yourself. The third and final ethical standard is utility elaborated by British philosophers Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill. Utilitarian principle holds something that is right when it produces the greatest practical benefits for the most people. People divide the continuum portrayed by Roderick Nash into three ethical perspectives, anthropocentrism, biocentrism, and ecocentrism. Anthropocentrism is the human-centered view of our relationship with the environment. Biocentrism is the value to certain living things or to the biotic realm in general. Ecocentrism judges actions in terms of their benefit or harm to the integrity of whole ecological systems, which consists of living and non-living elements and the relationships among them. John Ruskin was a critic and Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau were transcendentalists. Transcendentalists are people who view nature as a direct manifestation of the divine, emphasizing the soul's one oneness with nature and God. John Ruskin complained that people prize material benefits that nature could provide, but did not appreciate spiritual and aesthetic benefits. He helped motivate some of the first environmental groups to begin. Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau believed that nature was something deeper than just materials for human use and should be viewed as divine. They helped influence many people to start to view nature as something other than just material. Thoreau was one of the first ecologists. Walt Whitman, John Muir, Gifford Pinchot, and Aldo Leopold are also very four in influential people in the world of environmental science. Walt Whitman was also a transcendentalist and a poet and it helped influence many to start viewing nature as something other than just material. John Muir was someone that admired Emerson Thoreau and was motivated by the deforestation to start taking a stand and doing something about it. He is associated with the preservation ethic, which is that we should protect the natural environment in a pristine, unaltered state. Jeffrey Pinchot also opposed deforestation and is most associated with the conservation ethic, which is that people should put natural resources to use, but also have a responsibility to use na nature wisely. Ada Leopold was a forest and wildlife manager and embraced an ecocentric ethical outlook after going through the experience of shooting a wild wolf. He wrote the 1949 essay called Land Ethics, which helped guide people with their decision making with the wildlife. He believed in preserving nature. Since our society is expanding in population, all types of people with different backgrounds are involved, including different ethnicities or whether someone is rich or poor. The need to ensure equality and fairness influenced the movement known as environmental justice, or the fair and equitable treatment of all people with respect to environmental policy and practice regardless of their income, race, or ethnicity. One of the contributing factors that led to the environmental justice movement was ecological feminism, or ecofeminism. Ecofeminism argues that the male-dominated structure of the society is the root cause of both social and environmental problems.